Hey guys, as you guys can already tell, this tutorial will be all about whales. I just want to say that this video is just me sharing ways that I like to draw my whales and also some tips that I've gathered throughout the years of drawing these little guys. I think drawing whales is really fun and I enjoy drawing these creatures quite a lot because there's so many variations and different color choices that you can draw with and also different shapes and things that you can add to them. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the video and come along with me to see how I draw these different types of whales. So we are starting off the set with fin whales, also known as finback whales. And these little guys are the second largest types of whales and they are also my favorite type to draw. The top part of the whale is normally a darker in color and then the belly part is normally a beige white. That is how I like to draw mine. After I've drawn the outline of the whale, I'm going in with a very dark blue colored coloring pencil to add lines to the white part section of the whale. I'm now drawing the blue whale. So the blue whale is the largest species of whales and I hardly draw them I've realized because of how slender they are. So these whales are much more longer and skinnier than the fin whale. Um, they don't have a light colored underlayer. I mean I just like to draw these whales with just one um, similar color for the whole body without adding an underlayer. So here I'm using a mix of colors dark blue, black, and green, I believe, and just do that for the whole outline of the body. And now let's talk about fin proportions. So for the blue whale, the fin sits slightly towards the front of the whale, and if we compare it to the whale that we drew previously, the finback whale, um, their fin sits towards the middle. So here I'm just adding in some details for the back, and in real life these whales have a light grey malted skin, um, which also appears light blue underwater. I'm using a coloring pencil for the mouth, and then I'm using a white ink pen for the throat grooves of this whale. These are normally dark colored, but with me adding white in, I think it will make it stand out more because if I used black, I don't think it would stand out as well as white. So that's just how I like to draw mine. But if you decide to draw a light colored whale, for example, if you chose light blue instead of um, the dark colors that I have, you could definitely use a dark colored pencil for the grooves under its mouth. Now we have the right whale. These whales are pretty hard to draw if you have not drawn whales before just because the shape and their mouth is quite difficult um, to get the shape right. So I just like to outline the shape first and then add color for the inside. 
Their mouth is arched, so different to the two whales that we've drawn before, and they have a very big head, so um, that takes up one third of their body length. These whales also have irregular white patches all over its body, so I'm just adding that right now. Um, I think with this one, you can just go with however you feel. You don't really need to have a specific place that you need to add them in. Um, now I'm just drawing the mouth. So uh, as you can see, the mouth arches to the top, which is also one of their distinct features that these right whales have. Now I'm using a brown colored pencil to add in the teeth of the right way. These whales are distinct in their rectangular shaped head and also they are normally dark grey or brown in colour. They also have these visible little bumps on their backs. Their fins are relatively small compared to their body and they're also called flippers, so I think that's really cute. And I like to draw mine with their eyes sitting right above the end of their mouth. Now it's time to draw my favorite little whale, the beluga whale. Um, I love them because of their color and also they just look so friendly and cute. They kind of remind me of dolphins. And these whales also live in the Arctic along with narwhals. And here I'm just drawing mine with a slightly arched body and later on I'm going to add the beak at the front, so here and also um, their head is slightly raised, so you'll see that later on.
I want to make my beluga whale look really happy so I'm going to arch the mouth at the very end and I'm using a brown colored pencil. See they do look like dolphins right? They look like white dolphins. The narwhale is from the same family as the beluga as they are both arctic animals so now I'm drawing the body shape of the narwhal and you want to make the body shape kind of look like a teardrop from one angle and then just add in the tail this one's really easy to draw it literally only took about three minutes so now comes my favorite part of drawing a narwhal and that is their ivory tusk and for this part you want to make sure that it is in line with their whole body so if you look at the tail all the way to the tip of the tusk it should be one straight line And now whales do have little speckles on their back, but I like to use white to give off that icy and arctic feel. And then I'm just using a white ink pen to draw little lines on the tusk, and they honestly remind me a little bit of candy canes. And for the final little whale is the killer whale. Well, they're not actually little, they're very big and you can spot them in some parts of New Zealand. So I'm using black here to draw the outline of their body. And with this whale, I also like to draw it in a teardrop shape and then add in the tail. And also the fin at the top is very prominent. So you wanna think of as if you're drawing a shark, I guess. And they also have a little tip towards the bottom of their tail and now I'm just gonna use white ink to add the underside of the killer whale um, they always have an arch and then a dip towards the end so don't forget to add that and then there's also a white um, kind of circular section near their eyes And their eyes should sit right under the little white eye patch um, towards the front. So yeah, there you go. I didn't really plan ahead of the video so I didn't know how I was going to lay everything out on the page but I'm really liking the layout of this so I think I'm going to hang it on my wall. I think it'll be really fun if you guys also try to make your own whale charts. You don't have to use the whales that I drew here, but it was a really fun experience and why not? Hopefully this video was helpful to you and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon!